And this is why you pay a monthly fee. A lot of people don't like paying monthly fees, but this is why you pay the monthly service fee. What's up everybody, Lou Vegas Superhome, yoursuperhome.com. Today, special video, man. I wanted to get right into it because a lot of people will fight me on this and that. Oh, home security, I'm in a nice neighborhood, yada, yada, yada. I got the goods for you today. So I have a special video. This video is actually um, very unique. It's a police sergeant interviewing a convicted and incarcerated burglar. And uh, I would just want you to hear what he's got to say on um, what it's like to think from the inside of a burglar's mind and what they look for and how it can help you to protect your home. All right, let's get right into it. Neighborhood, I'm, I'm looking for well-kept homes, yards with really nice fences, because if you can afford a $10,000 fence to go around your home, and uh, I'm sure the inside of your home is very nice too. Uh, the things that'll keep me from going into your home like that are uh, easily displayed. Um, a lot of alarm systems these days, uh, they have availability of being wireless. So a couple points there. First one is he's looking for more well-to-do areas, typically where there might be cash or valuables or jewelry or something uh, in the area. So he's looking at more manicured properties, He's looking at properties that, okay, you may, you have a nice fence. So if you can afford a fence like that, you probably have something valuable inside. So, you know, think about the, what these people are thinking. You have to look at it from their perspective. Um, and so I always have the conversation, Hey, just because you live in a nice neighborhood, neighborhood does not mean you don't need a security system. Um, but then he talks about what it, one of the top deterrents being a wireless alarm system. Most alarm systems today are wireless. So I'll let him, um, kind of talk about that. The reason they do that is because it's easy for an individual to walk to the outside of a person's home and pull the wires out from the box well, that goes to the alarm system that's wired into the telephone system. Cut those wires. If you cut the wires, even if you do trigger the alarm system, it's not going to send a message to the company. So you don't have to worry about it. But with a cellular system, that's not, that's not the case. So... Uh, he's talking about specifically cellular systems and the wireless systems that exist today are very common. Um, however, the cellular part that he's referring to is, you know, most alarm systems have the ability and should be when they have active service on them. This is why you pay a monthly fee. A lot of people don't put, like paying monthly fees, but this is why you pay the monthly service fee. One is to get access to first responders, police, fire, dispatch, but the second is so that it can still dial out if you lose your Wi-Fi connection, for example. And even if you lose power, most of our modern day alarm systems, especially the ones that, uh, that Superhome can provide for you, um, also have battery backups. So they can operate in case there's a cut of power and if, there, if the Wi-Fi goes down. So you know that if your house is in an emergency, you'll always be able to get out um, that call or that call will automatically get out once the alarm is breached. With a cellular system, you have to, um, it's, a, it's a lot more inclusive and you, it's, it's hard to get the things that you need to defeat the system. It's really hard to find anybody selling a, a cell phone signal blocker. So, you know, um, the threat of just uh, have someone having wireless will make me step away from the home. All right, so uh, guys, that's just a, a quick one. I wanted to give you, um, I got some more coming soon uh, on this particular interview. I think it's chuck full of great stuff. I'm gonna link to it if you wanna watch it in your own time in its entirety, but I wanna share some commentary about how people think about these types of things that are trying to break into your house and help you to make a better decision on what types of things to buy for your next security system, for your next alarm system. All right, guys, that's it. I appreciate you taking the time as always. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch over to my full screen. I appreciate it as always. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lou Vega from Superhome, YourSuperhome.com. If you have any questions about home security, security cameras for properties, residential business, let me know. You can reach us at YourSuperhome.com or 215-883-4183. Thanks so much for listening as always. And we'll catch you on the next one.